Hey guys, welcome back to the CEO Life today. My name is Wes Biko. Today we're taking a look at a fragrance that I love. This is also in my nostalgic uh, sense kind of video series. So what this is, this is from the house of Tommy Bahama. This is Setzel Martinique. So Setzel Martinique, I've got two bottles of it. Got the 100 ml bottle and the 50. Here's how the 50 looks, here's the 100. Don't buy these retail. If you go to Tommy Bahama, these are like 100 bucks for those, like 120 is what they are locally here. Um, you can get this online from Grey Market, like Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, for around like 30, 40 bucks. I think I got this one for 40. This one is around 20, got this in trade. But yeah, pretty nice stuff. So it's Martinique. So first off, what are the official notes to this? You got lavender, you got aquatics, you got bergamot, and you got musk. Don't agree with those official notes. Um, I agree that they're, they're in there, but I think there's definitely a lot more. One of the big notes that I find is missing from this is sea salt. I feel like there definitely has to be a sea salt note in this. It's a very salty fragrance. Um, everybody who I get to smell this says they do smell and pick up that kind of salt note and that salt vibe, but I love this stuff. So first off, here's how the bottle looks. Got a nice gold cap. Color scheme's nice. Um, the bottle kind of sucks just because of how wide it is. If you put this in a drawer, it's a pain because your other bottles aren't gonna really fit around this. Um, so for me, because I have a lot of bottles, it's kind of a pain because of these. Here's how the sprayer looks though. <sighs> Puts out a decent amount. So, what do you get from this? A massive hit of bergamot in the opening, tons of musk, and then the aquatic vibe, which to me, this smells just kind of like ocean seawater. Not a fishy vibe, but the kind of essence of seawater, if you imagine. Uh, very sharp, fresh, mixed with salt. You get this kind of salt vibe in there. It's very nice though, very, um, Hits your nose, it kind of almost reminds me in a sense, a little bit of a margarita. Kind of has a slight little margarita vibe to me. I do like this though. So, now in terms of longevity, how long does this stuff last? This stuff actually lasts a long time. I'm not sure if they've reformulated it. This is a very old bottle, this is like a 2011. This stuff here, for me, I'm getting a solid 12 or so hours out of this. This is usually my, used to be my go-to summer scent. Let's see, story-wise, so the reason this is nostalgic to me is my dad ended up going to Seattle on this big trip um, with his fiance. So anyways, they go there and he comes back, brings me back this little sampler vial of this stuff. I used it all the time in high school. I loved this stuff. And then eventually I decided to make the leap to get a full bottle. So now go back to current times. So we're talking summer 2016. I'm going on a date with a girl. Um, I was on this, for me, I've always had bad allergies and I was on this stuff called Flonase. So I was able to actually smell flowers and stuff for the first time I'm rocking this stuff. It was just the best experience ever. We hung out till like four in the morning. She was digging the scent. Cuddle worthy, definitely. Um, the girl liked it. And yeah, the scent I just kind of always associate with that person. Um, it's a pretty nice scent though. It used to be my go-to date scent. Very fresh, very clean, very inviting. And just smells kind of like you're uh, walking into like a party wearing like a kind of floral print, um, like Hawaiian style type of shirt. That's kind of what I imagine with this. Like you're on vacation, like maybe a Max Payne type of vibe. Um, I'll throw up a picture on the screen if you don't know who Max Payne is, but yeah. Definitely like this stuff. If you want something that's aquatic, fresh, cheap, and lasts a long time and gets compliments, um, it's good. This stuff doesn't project a ton, um, as in, you know, people around you, they're gonna smell you, but it's not like an Aventus. It's not something like that, but that does lend credence to the fact that you can cuddle with this scent. And girls typically like this. Every time I've sprayed this on the opening, it's a little bit harsh. Girls typically don't like it, but after it lingers around for a bit and starts to dry down, people love this stuff. It gets very, very nice. Um, Again, just turns into this kind of ocean vibe. It smells very fresh, very inviting, and just great. So anyways, guys, this is my quick review of Setsa Martinique by Tommy Bahama. Go check it out. Don't waste your money on buying at retail. Buy this, buy this um, gray market, guys. Definitely worth it, though, worth the price. You can pick up any bottle, but yeah, I put a decent dent in this. Almost half gone now, and that's from around two years of use on this stuff. So I do like this stuff. This is probably my most used bottle. So go check it out, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know below. Take care, guys, and talk soon.